If you work with AutoCAD and you're not using dark mode, you're wasting your time. I don't know why anybody would choose this light mode when working with AutoCAD. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize and change your AutoCAD workspace into dark mode, including a custom paper space, layout space, dark mode that is easier on your eyes. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals course. It's got everything from drawing setup, customization, templates, XREF, site plans, creating drawings from scratch, adding layers, customizing layers, plotting, packaging drawings, and more. It's got over a decade of tips, tricks, and tutorials packed into this course. You can get it now up above and down below by clicking those links. It's gonna give you a discount for being a viewer. Let's jump right into today's video. So as I mentioned, if you're not using dark mode, I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, staring at a bright white screen like this one is already hurting my head and I've only been looking at it for a few minutes. Now, most designers are going to have already set up their model space with a somewhat darker background because why would you be staring at a bright white or light colored background when you have to work with this software all day now the first few options here are going to be pretty straightforward and standard but to start in order to change all of the outer rim or outer edge toolbars and palettes within autocad it's a simple change of a setting from this light mode to a dark mode you're going to want to type in options and hit enter and it's going to bring up your options menu go over to the display tab here and right below it simply change from light mode to dark mode and you can hit apply to see that take effect right away now instantly this is already easier on my eyes and probably yours especially when you're really focused and trying to hit those deadlines pulling longer hours this is going to save you a ton now, when it comes to customization of the colors, you're going to need to make a few tweaks, especially when it comes to layout space. Now, layout typically isn't as quick or as easy to change up the colors. So again, you're gonna to need to go to that options menu and you're going to simply click on the colors button here to bring out the drawing window colors dialog. And here you're going to be able to customize pretty much every color within AutoCAD. That's gonna include things like your command line, your layout tabs, your ribbons, uh, your paper background, everything in between. You can simply click through the different contexts and interface elements and change up their color on the right. You can restore your current context, restore all, or restore the classic colors if you mess up and you want to go back to default. In most cases, we're going to want to customize things like our backgrounds. So for the sheet and layout here, which is the one that we're trying to customize into a kind of new dark mode, you're going to want to modify mainly these top two. Your paper background is going to be kind of this background border here, and the uniform background is going to be the area within the dashed line. So to start off, we're going to change that since that's what you stare at the most. Now, some people do like to keep these lighter, either white or a light gray or yellow, since that represents paper a little bit more accurately and is going to give you the best idea of how your drawing is going to look when plotted to PDF or to an actual physical piece of paper. So so I would recommend keeping this somewhat lighter. We're going to go to maybe a bit of a light gray. Uh, again, I like to use this true color tab and here you can drag the cursor around to pick the exact color you'd like. Um, you may want to go with maybe like a bit of a light browny yellow, kind of like an old old timey piece of paper, but this is also going to lighten up the drawing. Uh, or darken up the drawing so it is a little bit easier on your eyes. So you can see I've chosen kind of an odd color, but maybe it's something that you would like. Now, again, if we go to the colors, back into that colors dialog, we can change our paper background, which is this outer border, and which is where you're probably gonna get the most effect of going to that kind of dark mode color. So you can see here, I've kinda got a medium gray that's similar to a lot of the other accent colors within AutoCAD. I'm gonna hit okay apply and close and you can see now we've got basically a full-blown dark mode AutoCAD and I'm actually kind of a fan of this color because it is going to give you a bit of an idea of how things are going to plot but it's not as bright as that typical white or light gray that AutoCAD is going to ship with. Now the same goes for model space you can see I've got mine 
customized, again, you go to the options menu, you can right click and choose options or type options and hit enter. You're gonna to want to go to that colors dialog box. And in this case, we are in the 2D model space and the mod, you wanna modify the uniform background color. You can see I've got it set to 58, 70, 85. Again, if you wanna rewatch this video, you can copy my colors to set yours up exactly like the way I've got mine currently. But I do tend to change this up. You'll see this through the videos that I kind of change it on the fly depending on how I'm feeling the monitor and the computer I'm on and how much time I've spent on that system and software since I'll customize them as I work in them a little bit longer to tweak things and for some specific projects. If I've got a specific color that isn't quite showing up, I'll tweak the background as well. But now that you know how to change these and know how to work fully within a dark mode in AutoCAD, I don't know why you'd be using anything else don't forget to let me know in the comments what your color settings are for your AutoCAD and if you have any questions at all. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and thanks for watching.